Today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks for your Mr. Heater Big Buddy Heater right after this. All right. If you've seen our other video, we have added the Mr. Heater Big Buddy Heater to our collection of heaters. This thing works great in the larger areas where you need it. I still have the, the small heater in the back of the side-by-side -side there for the smaller shack. But when I put up the Big Otter Lodge and I want some more heat in it, this is the unit. But what are some tips and tricks or what else can you use to help it or get better performance out of it? There's a couple of things we'll go over here. Say you're out on the ice and you're getting hungry and you want to fry up some bacon or a steak. If you've watched our ice camping video, you've heard me talk about that. Chad actually did that with this heater when we were out on the ice. And how did he do that? You don't want to stand there the whole time with a fry pan or a, a cup to make soup in or whatever the case may be. Well, just go out and purchase one of these. And you're going to say, well, what is that wire mesh piece that you're hanging on to right there that you can just slide into the handle and flip it over the heating grate and set anything you want on it to cook it or warm it up? That is a piece for a paint tray. If you go to your hardware department where they sell painting goods, you'll find one of those so you can run your roller over it and get the excess paint off of it and whatnot. A couple of bucks and you've got a stand. You can set your fry pan on here, your, your heating cup for heating up water or soup or whatever the case may be. Just a great, simple, cheap addition. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, if you want the heat to move around a little bit further or faster inside of your shack, what can you do to do that with? Well, I'm going to pull it out of one of these little storage boxes, which I would highly recommend putting this in if you happen to get one of these because these blades can get bent. This is a thermal fan. No power required. You simply set it on top of the heater and the heat produced will get this motor going and turn the fan blades and that will move the heat around your space and heat it better. So another great tip and great thing to get to add on to your Mr. Heater. You might say, well, yeah, that's a great unit, but I'm going to be using two one pound cans of propane in there at a time and they're running at the time of this filming five to seven dollars a piece. They really went sky high in price. I really don't want to spend that much money, but I want to stay warm while I'm out there. How can I cut that cost down? Well, what we've done with some of the other units is we've had to screw into them with an extension hose and hook on a 20 pound cylinder. Great tip for any of the Mr. Heaters, but you have to get some fittings to put them together, cobble it together. They sell the hose and then the, all the attachments and whatnot, and you have to make sure you get the right ones with the, the valve relief inside so they run properly. So it can be kind of a struggle at first to get them together. Mr. Heater alleviated all of those issues with this heater by simply adding a quick connect and we'll bring her over to the camera here to see if you can see that in there. But right here is a quick connect that you get a quick connect hose from Mr. Heater. That you can clip right onto that. So you can put it on, off, real quick, real easy. Has a standard grill screw on end. So there's no messing around to get that hooked up. And then you can run a 20 pound cylinder, the easiest way that I've found to do it. You know, like I said, you can cobble some hoses together and uh, some of them they screw into the inside threads on the tanks. And then you got to get the ends to hook into the heater. But this one 
is simple like screwing it on your grill at home, screw it on there, snap it onto the port inside of here and it's running full and it won't have to have another cylinder on the other side. It feeds both sides off of that hose so you can run it the full 18,000 BTU and be feeding it off that 20 pound tank. So a right around 23 hours is what you can probably get by running a 20 pound tank on one of these. That really extends it and plus when you can get it filled up in a lot of places for $15, $16, you're at a full fill on a 20 pound cylinder versus what two one pounders would cost you. So highly recommend doing that. And that is our tips and tricks for our Mr. Heater Big Buddy. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors, reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, and you can always follow us over at 3d-outdoors.com, which is our website. See you next time.